Hey, what is going on, my brotherhood? Welcome to the last figure of our SPDR Build a Figure Wave. If you guys are excited, I hope you are. Please make sure you head on down to that like button. And if you're new, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that little bell so you always know some mock creations, YouTube, and cosplay content is a coming your way. We're here. We're finally done. We're ready to build this SPDR Build a Figure. So, real quick, before we get into building it, Let's go ahead and talk about which which pieces came with which. So, the right arm right here came with the all-new, all-different Daredevil. The left arm right here came with... Ah, uh, shoot. I think it came with... Uh, uh, Kane Parker, Scarlet Spider. That's it. Sorry. A little bit of a brain fart there. The right leg came with... Uh, House of M Spider-Man. The left leg came with Electra, the torso came with Dagger, and the head came with Cloak. And the only, pers only person that didn't have a piece uh, was uh, Doc Ock, and there was no piece with that. So that's all the figures. So let's go ahead and get into building this figure, and uh, we'll go from there and check it out. So first of all, we're going to grab the torso, and we're going to grab a leg, we're going to pop it out right quick. Wait, 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 there. Ah, there. There, now we're hopping. Now now we're hopping. Then we're going to grab the other leg, and we're going to pop it on the other side, right? Yeah. Okay, so now, now we can walk. We can walk. We can walk. Okay, and I'm going to move my camera up now so we can actually, like, like see things when I do it. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab the uh, left arm. We're going to pop it into the socket right there. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Ah, right there. Right there. All right, so we got an arm in. We got an arm in. I'm going to pop in that right arm right there. Right, right, yeah. Okay, there we are. There we go. It's in. It's in. And they're going to pop the headpiece right, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. See the hole? See the hole? We're going to pop it right, 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 yeah. And there we have... Our SPDR Build-A-Figure is complete, and there he is. Look at him. He's just awesome. I really, really like this piece. Really good piece. Uh, um, I mean, no real accessories. I would preferably have liked to have had, like, a little Penny Parker to, like, put on his shoulder or something. But, you know, it still looks really good. Uh, this is a cool figure. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. And then we'll go over the articulation of the figure, and we'll uh, uh, show it off compared to some other figures, and we'll go from there. So, first thing I want to do is I want to get a good close-up look at that head sculpt. So, oh gosh, wow. I'm going to have to move my camera up, guys. Hold on a minute. This figure's too big. It's too big. All right. So, this, uh, get my lights over here. This is actually not that not that easy. <laughs> there's that there's a close up of SPDR's head. As you can tell, there is some great paint here. I really like the paint. Uh, get my other light over there so we can get that shining. Uh, they did a good job on it. I really like it. I really like the coils back here in the back of his head. Uh, I like how they're silver. It looks really good. So uh, they're even ribbed. So that makes more sense. And there's some like control stuff in the back of his neck right there if I can get the camera focused on that um, tone that down just a little bit um, but the character looks really good uh, all in all I would give overall aesthetics to this thing a really good shining victory because they did a good job I like the biohazard things on the sides here if you guys didn't read the uh, uh, spider-verse comic books that came out last year in uh, fall, the uh, SPDR was featured in his own comic book there, so that was really cool. Um, overall, the character looks really good. My only gripe kind of is the heels. As you can see, they're, uh, he can be hard to stand sometimes with those kind of legs. But the hands look really cool. The hands move all around like that, so that's really cool. I do enjoy that. The uh, torso looks really good. The hips look really good. Uh, it looks really good for what it is. I mean, that's just a robotic spider. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. There's some SPDR butt. 
Um, this really looks like a mech suit for Spider-Man, and that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a mech suit for an alternate Earth uh, a character named Penny Parker, who uh, is the only one that can pilot the suit now that her uh, her parents are dead. So, all in all, it's a really good suit. I really do enjoy it. It's a really good look. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation on the character. This character is really big, and I have I haven't done a lot of uh, um, big character reviews, so I'm going to try to keep it all on camera. But <laughs> please. Uh, uh, you know, forgive me if I get off camera a little bit, but the head can move up a lot thanks to that joint right there. It looks really good. You can get that joint moving all the way down to look all the way down like that. Uh, there's a little bit of a shift here, so you can shift it up and shift it down. Uh, rotate 360 degrees because it is a robot, so that's really cool. Um, you can't really get the arms moving out at all because of this joint right here. That's where the arm is. So it will not move out further than that without disconnecting. You can see it's, start, it's already starting to disconnect right there. So uh, don't try to do that unless you just want to pop the arm out. Um, it is a single jointed elbow, unfortunately, and there is rotation at it. Uh, the, hin the arms do hinge up. They do hinge down 360. There is a really great ab crunch here. Look at this ab crunch. All the way back, all the way forward, diaphragm joint right there. So they did a really good job there. Um, the legs will not move out that far because, again, they're connected at the hip right here. So, yep, it just popped off. So uh, that's, what, that's what's going to happen if you try to move them out further than that. Uh, you can get SP there to kick far, high very far and back almost all the way. There is no thigh cut, but there is a really great knee joint here. So check this out. Okay, so that's pretty much straight right there. I'm gonna put it out there so you guys can see it. But you can get this knee to bend like that. So look at that. That knee joint is really good. I really do enjoy this knee joint. I'm gonna do that so you guys can see it. So you can like bend part of it and you can bend the rest of it like that. So it's a really good joint. But all in all, it's a really good figure. Uh, there is a tiny bit, if I'm gonna go over it real quick, a tiny, tiny amount of ankle uh, rotation there. Not pivot, but it does turn side to side. So, um, but that is that. That is it for this SPDR uh, Build-A-Figure character. See, like, you can almost get it to stand by itself the first time, but not every time. But let's go ahead and go uh, show off this character next to some other figures in the wave uh, and some other figures in our collection. And here's the SPDR figure next to your average six-inch six scale figure. We have our House of M bum knee Spider-Man. Look at that knee. Poor knee. But uh, I do have to say that I don't think SPDR is uh, properly sized for this uh for this group of figures because this is supposed to be able to fit a teenage uh, Asian girl inside of it and uh, obviously you know six inch figure is a normal human uh, a normal male how are you gonna get a teenage girl into that suit I don't think you are and she doesn't like pilot the suit like Tony Stark she like sits in a cockpit so there's no way that she can actually get into that. So there is a problem there size-wise, but that's just me nitpicking. Okay, and here's SPDR next to all our figures from this way. We have the cloak action figure here, the uh, Marvel Legends dagger, uh, Doc Ock, House of M, Bumney Spider-Man, as I've been calling him, our Scarlet Spider character here, Elektra, and all new, all different Daredevil, and wow, what a wave here. Now I have to actually try to come up with a way to uh, rank these from uh, my least favorite to my favorite. So let's go ahead and get started. I think my least favorite is going to have to be Dagger here. And that's mainly because of that gap issue that we had right there. Um, so it just kind of made posing the figure really irritating. So uh, I'm sure if I had a non you know non problematic uh, dagger I would be I would feel completely different about this but yeah dagger is definitely my least favorite on this one 
My next one is pro is probably gonna upset a few people, but my next uh, my next one on this list is definitely uh, Kane Parker Scarlet Spider. He's a great figure. Don't get me wrong. I just find his aesthetic to be completely boring when it gets to the abs down. He's not very visually stimulating. Uh, I had fun posing him and everything, but if I'm gonna go from a visual standpoint, I I just find the character a little lackluster. So. Uh, Next on the list, and by the way, these are, just so you guys know, from least favorite to favorite. So, you know, Cloak, uh, Cloak, uh, Dagger, and uh, Kane Parker here. My next one is definitely Cloak, though. I love Cloak, don't get me wrong. He's got some cool ideas and everything with him. But once you take that Cloak off, it's just a body, and you can't remove the hood. So that was a little bit upsetting. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, he's a good figure. I still like the look, but without being able to remove the hood so I can get more of the face I just I don't understand why they didn't do, just make it so you can remove the hood I don't get it but eh what are you gonna do um my next one on this list is oh ooh, gosh I'm gonna have to say uh the house of M spider-man right here um the house of M spider-man he's a great figure I I've started to love him even more than when I originally opened up the box but uh, not really, don't really know the story. I haven't read the comic book yet, so I don't really have that much of an attachment to him. So, all in all, he's a good character. I love him a lot, but he's next on the list. Uh, Electra is next. I really like that Electra figure. She looks really good. She looks like she just jumped off of a comic book. That's how good she looks. So, uh, really fell in love with that character cannot stop every time i turn and look i'm like oh my god it's electro from the comic book every time i see her i love her to death so that is the next one uh our next one has definitely got to be the all new all different daredevil right here he just looks phenomenal comes with a lot of cool accessories you have the batons you have the batons on the uh, rope string you have the fisted hands he just came with a lot of cool stuff so a lot of fun posing him, a lot of fun playing with him. Really enjoy the character all together. And uh, second place is gotta go to the SPDR build a figure. I I almost wanted to place this in first place because it's a really cool character. You can do all kinds of interesting poses with him, but be, being able to do some poses that I can with our number one spot here. Uh, was just really cool and I really enjoyed it. I kind of nerded and geeked out. But SPDR is a great figure. I love him. I love you so much. The only thing I could have thought to make SPDR even better is just having a little tiny Penny Parker sitting on his shoulder or something. So if that if that would have been the case, I probably would have picked not, picked SPDR as number one. But our number one spot is gonna have to go to our Doc Ock here. Even though Doc Ock's uh arms make it so you can't actually like stand him on his own with them i still had a lot of fun making those poses and and holding up spider-man like i did or like crunching him on the ground it was just so cool i enjoyed it so much i really geeked out and nerded out so a lot of fun with that figure wow just a lot of fun so uh yeah gonna have to say the the order just to say the order again uh, Dagger, Scarlet Spider, Cloak, uh, House of M Spider-Man, uh, Electra, Daredevil, SPDR, and Doc Ock. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what you guys think. What is your favorite figure from this wave and what's your least favorite figure from this wave? Let me know your list in the comment section down below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. And uh, yeah, so let's get into our final uh, chat about SPDR. Okay, so to measure out this SPDR uh, uh, figure, as straight as I can get him standing by him, himself. Because it is very hard with those heels and uh, toes and the uh, knees being the way they are. The figure is kind of awkward. But the straightest I can get him standing is about 8 inches tall. So he's probably actually about 8 and a quarter to maybe 8 and a half. So that's how tall you can expect to see uh, your SPDR if you happen to get one for yourself. 
All right, and here's our SPDR figure, and, and you know, just a pose, just an average pose of him getting ready for combat. You know, on bending over a little bit. You know, getting ready to maybe web swing off. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this SPDR Build-A-Figure wave uh, all together. And what you do, what do you think about the figure? I really like it a lot. Uh, if I had to give it a uh, rating, I would give it... Hmm, I'd give it 5 out of 7 Dragon Balls. I really like it. I do like it a lot. A um, couple things I would change is I would have made it just a wee bit bigger so that it could actually make sense for a Penny Parker. And then I would try to bring a Penny Parker, like, you know, like just a, you know, maybe like a four inch tall Penny Parker so that she can be next to it, you know? Because I think that would make sense. That would be really cool. Uh, that could have been a really cool, uh, cool accessory slash an extra figure. And they wouldn't have even had to give it full articulation. Just give it a 3.75 inch figure articulation. That would have been really cool. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you did. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new, make sure you uh, subscribe so you always get some mock creations content coming your way. Uh, don't forget to check out the uh, entry to the, uh, be a prize winner at the end of the video for the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron uh, start, uh, Sky Tread uh, figure. Make sure you follow all the instructions at the end of the video so you have a chance to win that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here. Let's web swing out of here. This was a great wave. I loved it a lot. And I hope you guys, uh, if you picked it up because you watched my video, I hope you like it too. Uh, and please, in the comment section down below, please give me your rating. Which figure is the worst of the wave? Which figure is the best of the wave? Give me everything in between. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What is going on my brotherhood? I'm just here to announce that I have an amazing giveaway here for you guys. I am going to be doing a giveaway that you guys can enter for the next 30 days for this awesome and amazing Skytread action figure here. This uh, Siege War for Cybertron Skytread here. Awesome looking Decepticon figure. I love that he splits up into two different uh, uh, little vehicles when he uh, transforms there. It's a little bit different than anything else I've seen from the Siege War for Cybertron uh, line. So I'm looking forward to reviewing it. But you guys probably want to know, Mock, how do I enter into this amazing contest? Well, it's pretty simple. First of all, you do have to be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go over there and subscribe. The other thing that you have... Oh, the only, only other thing that you have to do is watch one of the videos that you see what we're talking about right now at the end of the video. If you see this, you just need to go down, share that video, and hit that like button for one of those videos. That's all you gotta do. You gotta share it with a friend, like it, and be a subscriber. I will pick a winner after 30 days. So you have 30 days to enter into this contest. You cannot enter in more than once though, okay? So this is just a one-time thing. Now, I hope that this doesn't stop you from liking every video and sharing all those videos. But, uh, like I said, all you have to do is become a subscriber, hit the like button for a video that you uh, see this contest review in, and share that video, and you'll be entered in for a chance to win this awesome Siege War for Cybertron Skytread. This, video, uh, this contest is starting on the 17th of July. We're going to end it exactly 30 days from today. So look forward to that. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, handing over this awesome figure to some lucky fan out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I hope to uh, get to be able to make our family a little bit bigger and, ha and put this figure in someone's hands who's really going to enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!